there are a few reasons why your Samsung phone might not be able to send or receive text or SMS in this video. We'll show you all the ways you can fix the problem. The first thing you need to do is make sure that the texting app you're using is working right. Open the settings app, tap apps. Find your texting app and tap it. Tap for stock at the lower right. All you have to do is look at the signal indicator to see if the tower is sending you a good signal. If not, try moving to a place where there are no obstacles. For example, if you're inside your house, try going outside to see if the phone gets a good signal. If you've had this problem for a long time, we're pretty sure you know where to go to get a good signal. But if this is the first time and you know that reception is usually good in your area, try the next solution. System glitches can sometimes make your phone work less well or stop it from doing certain things. But most of the time, things like this are easy to fix. So try to force restart and see if that helps solve the problem. This is how. Press and hold the power button. Select restart. Send a text message to your own number to see if the problem is fixed once your phone is working again. Your Samsung smartphone still can't send messages after you've tried the first three solutions. It's time to reset the network services. To fix problems like this with wireless communication, you need to reset the network settings. This will reset both the wireless settings and the message settings on your device. Here's what you do. Pull up the app drawer and tap on the settings app. Scroll down and tap general management. Tap reset. Tap reset network settings. Tap reset settings button and enter your security lock if prompted. Tap the reset button. If you've tried all of the earlier solutions and your Samsung phone still can't send a text message, the problem may be with your account or with the network. So, you should call tech support and tell them about the problem. While you're on the phone with a representative, ask what's going on with your account. If the problem is caused by a bill that hasn't been paid, paying it will fix it. But other than that, tech support should be able to tell if there's an outage in your area. In which case you just have to wait until the problem is fixed. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel, or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.